to the next video in today's video i will show you how to implement socket io for real time communication with node js as well as with next js or react js uh, so first of all i will show you the demo so here i have my web app open in safari and i have another web app uh, open in firefox and both are connected to the uh, socket io uh, backend that's why this uh, message which you are getting is from socket io which i am displaying it over here now i will send some uh, message from like i will enter some data in text input i will submit it it will go to node.js and node.js will broadcast that message to all the client which are connected to socket io so i will just say hi from firefox i'll click on submit and here you can see it has replied but if you go to firefox as well sorry to uh, safari as well you can see that message now i will enter some message from safari hi from safari i'll click on submit you are getting this message on safari as well as you are getting this message on firefox as well so yeah let's have a look at the code one thing which i want to tell you is that if you are using react js instead of react js you can use any web framework but if you are using react js it's better you run this application in production mode so for next js i have to run npm run build and then run npm run start the reason why i'm not saying is that uh, running in dev mode if you run it in dev mode uh, you might be uh, aware about strict mode in react js that uh, uh, does uh, like it renders two times so if you submit a message uh, from uh, the input and click on submit you will see the message twice because uh, react just renders twice in a dev mode that's why that's what i'm just warning you so first we'll have a look at our node.js app so here uh, as you can see uh, this is my package.json i am i'm using express as well as socket io next go to index.js and here i have uh, included express socket io as well as http next uh, this is boilerplate code for express js okay here we are creating our express server uh, sorry http server and from that i am uh, passing that server to our socket io also make sure you add this course otherwise you will get course been blocked apart from this i have also added this course if you are using api endpoint then you should use this course but for socket io stuff you have to add this course because i am allowing all origins uh, but if you are client is located on localhost colon 3000 just allow localhost colon 3000 just for uh, safety purpose but i think for development star is fine then this is just a simple endpoint and these are just boilerplate code so that if the user uh, like tries to hit some other api endpoint he will get an error now here is the actual code so here i am connecting and once as soon as the uh, client is connected i am sending a message to the client okay connected to server so this is a message from server and here uh, so here you can see to send a message to the client you have to use the emit property now here i am receiving a message from client so we have to use socket dot on message from client and to broadcast this message you have to use io.emit you can't use socket.emit otherwise it won't work so here you will get a data and i'm calling data.data because this uh, was while sending it from the client i am sending it something like this i will show you exactly how i'm sending that's why i'm calling data.data .data. okay and this will send the data to all the client and the client will have to listen to this and here i'm just starting our server that's it okay so now if you go to my next.js application firstly i'm using the use client directive uh, and uh, if you want to use hwr you can use it but just for simplicity sake i'm using use effect hook uh, i'm not sure if hwr would be uh, the right choice or not but i think use effect does the job for me so i'm okay with it so i have just taken an input for text input and a message uh, array for storing all the messages then I'm collecting, connecting to our socket IO client, which is on localhost colon 3000. Then I'm calling the connect method. So once I, I'm connected, I'm just logging that ID to the console. And here you can see we are calling socket dot on, which is listening for a message from the uh, server. So once the server emits a message, so if you see, if I go to my Node.js application, so IO dot emit message from server. I am getting that message and here you can see I am using data.data .data and I am app appending to our uh, ma set message array and 
also if there is any issue i'm calling this reconnection uh, if you want you can use it uh, and once uh, the so here you can see i'm also sending this message from server so this is also the you know uh, listened for and why when the user sends a message from client side to the backend side i am using the same input message from server if you want you can use different input as well but simplicity sake i have kept it same now here i have taken an input assigned our input uh, state similarly for button on on click i am calling socket dot emit message from client and i am sending our input so here you can see i am calling this data that's why you have to use data dot data similarly over here while sending it from the server i am using data that's why you have to use data dot data again over here so here you can see i am just emitting it from the client and here i am just displaying it inside our messages array yeah that's how simple it is also make sure you include the socket io client inside your nextjs application and for uh, just to avoid confusion make sure you are running using npm run build and then npm run start if you are using nextjs otherwise you will see two two messages uh, once you click on submit uh, because that is an issue from that is not really an issue but that's how react js behaves in uh, debug mode or development mode yeah that's it thank you for watching bye